Hello, it's Lil here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. As you recall last time, we got the final piece of Triforce by uh, completing level 8. And if you look into your uh, inventory subscreen there, you get the Triforce completely filled. We got all our items we've collected. Now we're ready to go after, uh, basically go after the princess, defeat Ganon, and rescue her. So let's get going. Use the flute. Oh, I actually wanted to go the other way. Right. I'll go the other way. Yeah, one more whistle. Should take us to level one, and then we'll hitchhike the rest of the way there. There we go. So the whistle, once you have it, it's a very effective means of just traveling around the world. So. We're gonna head up to Death Mountain, and I kind of I skipped a few rooms at the end of level eight, and I believe in one of them there was a man. I told you that uh, Spectacle Rock holds a secret, or something something to do with Spectacle Rock. So uh, that's where we're gonna be headed. That's where the entrance to level nine is. Final. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting my ass kicked. And I'm still getting my ass kicked. Wow. Alright, I should be more careful? I don't know. Well, maybe somebody will drop me a heart. There's one. Come on, Link. You're boomerang. You've used it a thousand times. There we go. I'm gonna see if I can grab something before we go in, but the entrance to level 9 is going to be right here. Spectacle Rock. I used to think this is what the tip of the nose has the secret um, was referring to, but I, I suspect it refers to something else. I think that's Spectacle Rock, and that's where the entrance to the ninth level is. I'm just trying to kill these guys to get full bombs to go in, into the last level. You don't really have to do that. But I did. And there's one more thing i got to pick up while I'm here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some medicine. Level 9 is by far the high, hardest level, definitely harder than level 6 or 8. So I'm probably gonna be using that. And now, I'm down one heart, but it could be worse. Let's uh, go to level 9. Alright. The first thing you probably notice is there's a different dungeon music thing, which is kinda nice. They differentiate it. Now, this room here, if you don't have the full track force, you can't pass. There'll be an old man here who says, go get the. You know, go get all the track horse pieces. Can't can't pass without it. Like likes. And we've got these bubbles here, which are going to be taking away my sword whenever I collide with them. Uh, like likes are pretty dangerous enemies in this level. Not so much because they can damage you, but because they can take away your shield, uh, your magical shield. They'll eat your magical shield, and you'll be left with your regular shield. Now, I'm not sure why Link's carrying a second shield when his first one gets eaten, or I don't know if the like lights just transform the magical shield into uh, into a weaker version. That might be what's going on. Uh, these wizard robes are orange ones, so they're pretty easy to protect, so I figured I'd kill them. I'm, I'm going to try to not be so obstinate about trying to kill every single enemy, because that's just going to get me in trouble. I'm going to try to go past them as often as I can, especially the wizard robes, whenever I can. Uh, I probably should have waited one more second to uh, try to block those... Uh, that spell, the wizard robes. Alright, alright, well. Had to, had to kill him to push the block, so. Couldn't avoid those. Those are called, uh. Mor Mor Morphas or Mol Moldors or something like that? They're, uh, they're very fast enemies, and. Those are the. The orange kinds are the weaker. There's, uh, they have some stronger brothers, which I don't know if I'm gonna show you. I don't know if I pass by them. They are, they are in level 9. I'm going to be trying to go as quickly as I can through the level. Just, you know, get everything that I need to get while I'm here, and then move along. Um, this this level is huge, and you'll, you'll see that once I've gotten the map. I like like I do not like 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 I, I really am I really am a fan of my magical shield, shield, and I really don't want to lose it. Um, plus, they never ever drop you anything, which is really annoying. Another thing I don't like about them. 
All right, uh, we got a couple of uh, not a couple. We got three blue whiz robes here. I do not like whiz robes of basically any color, blue ones especially. I'm gonna the the Zoles here might drop me some. Well, I did just some money, but I like to kill them, especially if I'm looking for another heart or so. All right, got some whiz robe. Oh. Get it from the side there. Come on. Kill him, kill him. Like... Alright, good job. Alright. The uh, orange ones will be easy enough to destroy because they're much more predictable. Let's stay in place, fire. And there we go. Got the compass. And you can see, to get the compass, they did a job on me, so. Well, not much I can do about that. Two. Kill the souls. Now, I was standing on top of it, but that dropped me some more bombs, but I was already full because the whiz robes dropped me some. So, if you defeat everyone in that room, you get bombs. Just so you know. Alright, this is Patra, and I do need to defeat him, but I'm going to skip him just for the moment. Uh, these are just little gels. I just want to make sure they don't cause me any trouble. The, the thing I've noticed with the boomerang is when you use it to kill enemies who are susceptible to it, you actually want to do it pretty close up because then your boomerang, as you'll see here, goes halfway across the room and you're waiting for it to come all the way back. Sometimes it can hit them on the way back. And unlike enemies' boomerangs, if yours hits on the way back, it will cause damage. But All right, so we bombed through here. This is, this is a maze. You're going to be bombed. All right, now here's Patra again. Hey, ooh. I am going to have to face Patra. Patra's, Patra, as you, if you've been paying attention, is unique to level 9. We haven't seen it before. And he's kind of annoying. Oh. Alright. Now, the Patra in the center itself cannot be harmed except by your sword, but not until you've taken care of the little Patras, the baby Patras there. So I'm just trying to control how much damage I take. Oh. And I'm not doing a very good job of it. Alright, I'm gonna get away from him because I think he's about to spread out. There we go. Once the once the little ones are gone, uh, Patra is destroyed. Now this is a map. You can see level nine is enormous, and I'm already down to four hearts, and uh, I'm kind of in tough shape. So this might no, well, this might. This is definitely gonna get tricky. All right. See what I did there is I, I killed one and I left just because I was kind of in a bad position and I'm hoping that more orange ones would spawn. That heart was useful. All right, that was unfortunate. See those bubbles there, they're, they're going to take away my sword so I'm, I'm trying to get as many orange ones to show up as I can. All right, there we go. Got, all right, down to one with blue riz robe and I got him. Good. So we go down here, and we have the first dungeon item, the red ring. Now, as you recall, we paid 250 rupees for the blue ring, and it cut all damage by 50%. The red ring cuts all damage by 75%. So I'm now going to be receiving a quarter of the damage that um, you normally would from enemies, which is quite nice. Now, what I'm going to try to do is, there we go. I just, like I said, I'm going to try to avoid as many enemies as I can, uh, and you'll you'll see now why I skipped that first Patra, because now I've got the red ring. Uh, I actually probably should have skipped the second Patra too. Now that I think about it, I skipped them both, get the red ring, and then come back and fight them to get the map. And I actually don't have to kill this thing. I could um, I could just go through the key door, and I actually might do that. Well, actually, he's not giving me much chance. Because I don't think he drops anything that I want. I'm just... He is a unique enemy. And I do like that they give level 9 kind of a unique flavor, putting in some unique... It seems like when he's, once he's down to 1, he doesn't kind of fly... Oh, come on, Link. Well, that was me, really. I ran Link into there. He dropped some bombs, so... You do need bombs in this level. 
I think there's at least one more Patrick. There's two more in the level at least, but only one more I have to actually fight. And I do have to fight him. That one I won't be able to skip. So uh, I'm getting to the point where I'm probably going to have to use my potion very soon. Just because, well, I'm getting my butt kicked. So I'm just going to try to keep moving. Oh, that was lucky. No, that was the one I hit twice already. All right. Oh. Uh. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, I am going to need to use my potion, but I'm trying to hold out as long as I can. Ooh. Come on, guys. Come on, hearty hearts, hearts, hearts. Any hearts for Link? No. Oh well. You can see how quickly I could fire off my boomerang when it came right back to me. It's kind of nice. Unfortunately, those guys don't drop hearts. All right, that's Patra again. Right, I'm doing pretty well against Patra. Against this particular Patra. Wow, I didn't take a hit. Uh, as you saw in the previous Patras, it obviously doesn't always go that way. I'm going to be a little extra cautious because it would be a shame for me to take a hit now. Uh, I was hoping, I was really hoping there would be a, uh, a fairy there, but uh, it seems that my lucky streak with those in this uh, game is coming to an end. And I took a hit from a key. Keith's there. But that's just how it goes, I guess. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be needing to use my potion quite soon. Because of these guys. Alright, I'm going to pull the trick, see if I can get some more orange ones to spawn. I did. Alright, I don't know why my guy didn't I don't know why Link can stab up there. Alright! Killed all the blue ones off. That's good. Come on, drop a fairy or a heart or something. Or just die. That's also good. That will work. Alright. Yeah, the red ring's really a lifesaver. But, even with it, I'm not going to be able to defeat the final boss with just two hearts. That's just not happening. Get that keys. All right. The silver arrows, you need these to defeat the final boss, to defeat Ganon. He will not, if you go if you go and you face him without him, you're, you're stuck. You will not be able to kill him, which really, really, really stinks. I might pull the same. Ooh, I don't need to pull the same trick. Come on, somebody drop a fairy. Yeah, they don't come when you ask for them. That was really lucky. Unfortunately, you can't get a time uh, a time clock or a stopwatch or whatever those things are called uh, against the against Ganon. That's not going to work for you. All right, I'm getting pretty far without using the potion though, so that's kind of nice. All right, let's kill these like likes, who I know won't drop anything, which is a crying shame. Gonna, I'm just gonna keep nailing them with a the, with the wand. Again, they're mostly they're not dangerous so much for the damage they can do for you. They're dangerous for the fact that they can destroy your magical shield, which gives you at least some protection from the wizard's spells. There we go. Takes care of them. Ooh. They're giving me money, which is nice and all, but I really want hearts. So let's see. I always feel like when I'm tr when I'm looking for something, it doesn't show. Oh, there's one. Thank you. It, it doesn't show up as much, but when I don't really need them. Oh, 
Well, if I keep getting stopwatches, I mean, I guess that'll help. Uh... Oh, okay. Doing so much bombing, I got it on the brink. Oh, boy! Ugh. I'm hanging in there. Oh, I hate it, but... You see how he kind of did that floaty thing where he kind of became partially invisible? Ugh. Really annoying. Um... Whiz robes, whiz robes, grr. Um, do I have to face yet another patch? Actually, do I? I don't know. I'm trying to think. There might be one more patch or not. I think about it. Um, I'm in bad shape. All right, I I, I put this off long enough. Not really much choice there. I have to. I have to get my health back. And I, I was going to have to do it sooner or later. They're not dropping fairies. I'm not going to be Ganon with two hearts, even if I could get through here. So, that's that. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of nice. Unexpected. All right. Oh, no wizard robes in here. That's nice. I think actually that was the last room of wizard robes, possibly that I'll have to face. We'll see. Famous last words, of course. Alright, just gotta kill this like like. Come over here. There we go. The bubbles, they'll they'll you know, relieve you of your ability to use your sword, but they can't hurt you, so. Actually sometimes they'll help you. I mean if if you're caught in the middle of some enemies and they hit you right before the enemy hits you, the enemy's hit won't count. Alright, yep, last patra. Alright. If I can do half as good as I did the last time. Now I've got my sword. I, I have the ability to fire my sword this time too, so that's helped me out. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, Patra is a little... Uh, his difficulty is mitigated a little bit if you have the ability to uh, shoot your sword. And now we can see the compass is where Zelda is. Well, right below the room where Zelda is, and there's Ganon. All right, we just gotta take him out. Now, the the way Ganon works is he's invisible, and he'll start uh, shooting his little laser fireball projectile things at you, and you've just gotta try to stab him. Now, I've already gotten two hits. Very, I've been very lucky to get those two quick hits. But I'm just guessing. I am not. I don't know his pattern. I don't know if he even has a pattern. But all right, there's three hits, and at a certain point. You hit him four times, and then you pop him with the silver arrows, and he's dead. Now, that was very quick. Uh, he leaves the Triforce of Power. You pick it up. And that's it. You defeated Ganon, and through those doors are our princess. Now, the first time I beat Ganon, I did not know that you could destroy the fire. So I actually walked through the fire... And there have been a couple of times before I figured out you could stab it that I hurt myself and died because I was so weak from Ganon. So for all time's sake, I'm just going to walk through the fire to Zelda. Really, you're supposed to stab everything just like I did with the other two. And that's it. That's the end of The Legend of Zelda. And Link is crowned as the hero of Hyrule. Very nice. And uh, having restored peace... Uh, looks like Zelda's got the Triforce of Wisdom. We're holding up the Triforce of Power, I presume. And that's the end of the story. I'm gonna roll the credits. Uh, executive producer uh, Yamuchi, Yamuchi Yama Uchi. I actually think he died very recently as of this recording. But he was the head of Nintendo for a very long time. And you see, I remember I beat this recently, and I'm like, wow, not very many people worked on this game, and it was a pretty good game. Another quest will start from here. Press the start button. All right, uh, let's start. Now, you see Link's got a sword. Basically what will happen is there'll be a second quest, and uh, you can play the game again. What I've heard is that when they completed Zelda, they realized they'd only used half of their allotted memory, so they decided to make an entirely new quest. So basically, uh, I'm going to continue on into the second quest, 
and we're going to see how they change things up. It's it's a more difficult quest. And also, if you want to go straight to the second quest, I don't know if I showed this at the beginning of, this, of the series, if you type in your name as Zelda, you see how it's got the sword? You automatically will start at the second quest. So, uh, that does it for the that does it for the first quest of Legend of Zelda. I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, I certainly enjoyed bringing it to you for my first Let's Play. I'm going to continue on with the second quest uh, in the next episode. So until then, this is Ensign Level, and if there's next time, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.